Tyler Cantrell reporting for BlazerTV.com here under the lights at Legion Field as UAB has fallen 42-35 to to Conference USA opponent East Carolina. After the game, Coach Garrett McGee talked about how this team is just not doing well in big play situations and how that might have cost them the game tonight. I just think that in critical moments in the game, um, we didn't make the plays to win it. Um, their guys jumped up, made catches. Um, made miraculous looking catchers. Our guys didn't, or their guys rushed the quarterback. It's just every single game you play is going to come a point in time in the game, probably in the fourth quarter, where people are going to have to make plays to win the game. And where we are right now, we had a series where on offense, we made a mental error on first down, then on second down, then on third down, Nick bailed us out, caught a long ball. There's another series on offense where we dropped a couple of balls in a row when the pressure build. We just have to learn to accept that moment in the game and, and, and search for the pressure moments in the game when the game's on the line and perform at a high level right then. I think we've shown that we can play, you know, with anybody on our schedule. We just got to perform well when the pressure's on. UAB did take advantage of some opportunities in the first half as Austin Brown would connect with wide receiver J.J. Nelson on a 35-yard touchdown strike to give UAB a 14-13 lead going into the locker room. I mean, I feel like every every game I'm you know slowly getting better and working on things, but uh, you know all that. Doesn't really matter right now. We still lost the game, so that's all that really matters. I just thought Austin was much more under control. Austin has developed and grown in the last seven days. He, he looked totally different on the field this weekend. He stood in the pocket. Um, I think that he is starting to trust to look at the defense and let the defense dictate where the ball goes and trust the protections. And I mean, I, I think that um, you know I'm really impressed with Austin's development. I'm really impressed with his work ethic and the way he's in there. When he's not in class or in study hall, he's in there tr looking and working. Um, and I, I just I thought he did make a couple of bad decisions, which is going to happen. But I thought Austin really did develop um, these last seven days. And, you know, he, he looked efficient to me. I have uh, more respect for Austin Brown than almost any man on this planet. You know, the kid is, is tough. He's a fighter. He gets it done. He's got a hell of an arm. You know, I don't know if you saw that comeback he threw all the way from the right hash, about 10 yards. I mean, slung it out there. It's just he, he's naturally gifted, but I think it puts him over the edge is his mindset. And I, I can't say a bad thing about him, you know. He's the right man for the job. I think he played a hell of a game tonight. I mean, he's being a freshman. I mean, when you look yeah. at a guy like that as a freshman, I mean, I know – when you leave the program and, and you see him mm -hmm. staying behind, I mean, what does that mean for him in the future? Just having he, that kind of talent now. Yeah, he's going to do great. He'll break records here. There ain't no doubt in my mind. UAB utilized the tight end spot much more effectively on the offensive side of the ball than they have in previous weeks, as Sam Mercurio and Kennard Backman would both get their first career touchdown grabs for the Blazers. Yeah, you know, we always. Every game, you know, me and Kennard, we got to get one today. We got to get one, you know, this quarter. We got to get one this drive. And tonight we got two, so it, it's it's good. I, I was uh, very pleased with uh, the performance out of our group tonight. UAB senior linebacker Marvin Burdett would register 17 tackles today as he moved into second place on the all-time career tackles list. The defense as a whole gave up only 13 points in the second half as they forced ECU into two field goals during red zone opportunities. However, in the second half, the playmakers for East Carolina would wear down this UAB defense and start to put some points on the board. Um, you try to you try to kick all the negativity out your head. Anything you think negative, just kick it out before the game. You know, you got to try to encourage those guys because I got to look back and say I was once a freshman. You know, playing with vet, and you know I know they get frustrated with you at times, but you know you just I, at all times you got to keep positive talking to them and, and you know keep positive thinking in your head. And, you know, I got to I, when I'm out there on that field, whether you're a freshman or vet, you know I got I got absolutely all my praises up to you because I know that you're the other guy that's beside me. I know that you're going to be playing your heart out just like I'm going to be playing my heart out for you. So it's, it's all a trust thing on there, it, regardless of what their their name is or their, or their status. Next week, the Blazers will try to get back on track as they travel to Tulane and continue Conference USA play. This is Tyler Cantrell reporting for BlazerTV.com.